I'm going to attach this back pressure slide for leaks. So if I open this up slowly. Not even a slight hiss, so it's good. No leakage. That side of it's worked. Plumbing's worked out perfectly. Yeah, a bit of crap come out there, but... Oh, that's good. So I've got to find something between there and there. Although that, I think, has to come from the tank. I'm pretty sure. So that has to come off the, directly off the tank side. To allow that to work properly. Can't go in through between there and a the teepee. It's not going to work. So yeah, more figuring out and back to the drawing board in the meantime. So yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, if you're as well, I mean, we're thinking and thinking. I come up with this. Got a, had a piece of um, spray booth manifold. It's a scrap piece. Has this fitting mold on the end of it. Made out of the um, same stuff as this. Uh, copper, uh, brass, I mean. Yeah, it's been moulded on. And it had another piece moulded on. The same stuff. I screwed this on. Through there. Nice extension. Tapped the thread. I cut a bit off. Tapped the thread. Screwed the tap in. Yeah. Pretty handy, these little ball valves. So called cool because they're actually a ball. That's what I call a ball valve. So, yeah. Let's plug it in. Now I've got to find the compressor's way of connecting it up to there. From so that sort of setup, but fit into here. And an electrical connection through here, which will be the next challenge. On, off. Do a leak test. Hopefully, there's some. Um, I don't know if this diaphragm is set right. Should go pop. And it did, it popped. And that just popped back on, so it's working. Yeah, 175 PSI that cuts out. There's about 180 in here, so that's perfectly um, adjusted. So now all I gotta do is just hook the compressors up, test the electrical side of it, and find out what it cuts in, and I'll adjust that. So yeah, it's all done. Basically, pressure gets in here, pushes up, and the contactors pop, clicks. And this is just a, I think that's a cut in or something. That's a cut out, so when the pressure builds up, it pops that, shuts off. Contactors are open. And that must be a cut in, as I was saying. The pressure's too low. Like a little lever that presses down. From the con as it works electrically anyway, as, as, as the contactors are closing, this pushes down. Or something like that. Yeah, either way, we'll find out, because all these are different. Not all of these work the same, so find out when I, once I get all the electric side done. Yeah, ball valve's a bit hard. <laughs> there you go. It's coming up quite nicely. So yeah, any suggestions or ideas are welcome and yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.